Hi everyone. <laughs> uh, don't have a peanut before you do a live video because now I'm choking on a peanut. Hi everyone, I just wanted to very quickly say hello. I have to make dinner for myself and my husband because I'm starving. But I wanted to show you this amazing zero waste haul. I'm the kitty, hi Tali. From just about an hour ago, I went to the awesome food mill in Oakland. If you haven't been to the food mill in Oakland, what are you waiting for? I waited years because I used to go all the time and then until I, and it's in a different neighborhood so I'm not gonna chide myself too much, but until I really started on this zero waste journey, uh, I forgot about it. I completely forgot about this amazing grocery store. It's a little grocery store. It's a tiny little produce store and it's got some convenience items, but it's really known for its bulk section. So anyway, hi everybody, Colleen Patrick Pedro here, Joyful Vegan. Uh, animal Advocate, it's been such a crazy ride. I haven't seen you in a while, um, but I wanted to share this with you. I am really excited about what I just found. It was inspired by our trip to Vietnam. Nicole, hello. Um, and I'd be really impressed. First of all, hi everybody, where are you? Where are you right now? I'm still alive, Ray. <laughs> yeah, I have not died uh, of malaria. <clears throat> I am gonna die of, a ch of, a, of choking on a peanut though. Uh, I have not died from a torn meniscus. I am, I am alive. Um, good to see you, Ray. So I'd be very impressed. I'm gonna ask everybody to tell me what these are in the bags here, okay? Are you ready? I want everyone to tell me what's in the bags. So number one, what's in that bag? What is in that bag? I'll give you a hint. Charlie was just eating from it, which was very naughty of him, but that's my fault for leaving this out on the counter. Can you guess what that is? I know you can. I know you can. What's that? Well done, Carrie. Well done, Pamela. Well done. It is amber. It is nooch. Beautiful, flaky, nutritional yeast. Now, when I recommend nutritional yeast to folks, of course, I always recommend the nutritional yeast flakes, not the powder. You go away. Michiko needs to have a chance to have some food. So leave her be and let her have some food. You're just so bad. Let's go have some, go, 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 go. Let Michiko have some food. Okay, so that is nutritional yeast. Oh my God, go away. <laughs> Charlie's being a pain. I'm gonna make him go away. Go, no, you are so bad. <gasps> you are so bad. Okay. Sorry, hi everybody, crisis averted. Okay, uh, number two, what's in there? I am seriously going to kick your butt. What's in here? What's in this bag? <laughs> Sorry, a little disciplinary action here. Can you guess what this is? Sorry, the light isn't great. I'm trying to not create, cast a shadow. Can you tell me what that is? What's that? Uh, Amber said steel cut oats. Nicole said lentils. Let me show you how, let me show you the size of it. You could probably get a better idea of it if you see the size of it. What else do you think? Lena says oats. The answer is indeed no. Ashley and, and Nicole are both seeing lentils, but I think, yeah, if you can see it closer. It is um, steel cut oats. Well done, everybody. Sangha, everybody, well done. Not pine nuts. Stop it right now. Stop it. No. It does look like bulgur. It really does. I think it's. I think it's an easy. It's easy to mistake both bulgur and um, steel cut oats. But it is indeed. It's not rabbit pellets. It is indeed steel cut oats. Okay, stop. Okay. Oh my God, you were such a pain in the butt. Okay. Uh, next, I'll give you an easy one. What's that? Easy peasy, you can do that. It's quite a delay. <laughs> it's quite a delay on this on this video. Uh, black beans, well done. Black beans, and what about what about this? Well done, Nicole. Well done, everybody. They're not turtle beans. 
They look like turtle beans. I guess someone considered them turtle beans, but they are black. You're doing very well, Sanga. You're doing very well. Oops. Sorry, I'm like preparing dinner, disciplining the cats, and trying to show you what I bought at the same time. Um, I know, I love the way they sound too. I absolutely love the way they sound. Uh, Tartanius got it right, and so did Lena and mm, Pamela. Kidney beans. What about these guys? What about these? Yeah, you can call them kidney or red, Nicole. Although at Food Mill, they did have a bin of red beans versus these kidney beans. What about these? They're so pretty. Not black eyed peas. That would be more of like, you'd see just um, more of the white with the black dot. Oh, it was a little squirrely. These are pinto. They do look like cranberry beans as well. But these are pinto beans. Do you know why they're called pinto beans? Do you know why they're called pinto beans? I know, they are beautiful, aren't they? She's like, I don't know, but they're beautiful. Nailed it, go Ashley. Uh, do you know why they're called pinto beans? What, Tiffany? What, what, why are you so flabbergasted? Nope, not garbanzo. I'll show you garbanzo. Garbanzo's different. These are pinto, because they're speckled like a horse. Well, the pinto horse is also called the same such because of the same reason. Uh, pinto means painted. That's what it means. So that they look like they're speckled. They look like they're painted. Okay, what about these? Well, these are easy to get. These are big um, lima beans. These are white lima beans. So we've got lima beans. What about this? You know what that is? It's too easy. Too easy. What's that? Lima beans, well done, Lena, yep. I've moved on, I've moved on, I've moved on to the, what this is. It's really pretty, you can really see it. This camera is so good, it's really showing every. Yep, brown rice, exactly, Sangha, well done. You did you say that you don't do well? Uh, no, these are, uh, it's a little, it's short grain brown rice. It's not the long grain, it's short grain brown rice. And that's it for the main bulk. Well, that you could probably guess is brown sugar, not barley. So we've got short grain brown rice, lima beans, peanuts, steel cut oats, nutritional yeast, black beans, kidney beans, pinto beans, brown rice, and you wouldn't be able to guess this because it's too hard because it could be anything, but it's a uh, baking soda in bulk. But do you want to know what I got in bulk that I didn't think I'd be getting in bulk? So Nicole, what did we eat a lot of in Vietnam that I want to replicate here now that I'm home and I want to make a lot of dishes? Like I want to make pho, and what do I need for pho that I never thought in a million years that I would be able to get in bulk? Are you ready? I'm gonna give you a second to answer because there's a bit of a delay. Seriously, I, I was like, oh, this is gonna be really hard. I'm not gonna be able to find this in bulk. I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be a big quest. I'm gonna have to drive to like all these different stores. And I don't have to because at the food mill, after I paid for all this, and by the way, all of this, the avocado, the cabbage, the lettuce, the green onions, all this bulk, the um, four sweet potato, uh, sweet potatoes, the brown sugar, everything, all of this cost me 60 bucks. The most expensive was the nutritional yeast. <laughs> nutritional yeast was 11 bucks. That is not cheap. It's not cheap. No, nope. basil I can get in bulk easily. I can find herbs in bulk easily. I can find all of the herbs and spices in bulk, I will tell you. What's another element of something like pho or another Vietnamese dish? What's one of the main elements? 
What's one of the main elements? What makes pho pho? What's one of the main elements? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I know it is vegan gold. Noodles, exactly, but rice noodles specifically. I was like, there's no way. So I'm at the desk, I'm at the counter. I, I paid for everything and I said to Michael, I said, Michael, I'm on a quest to find package-free bulk rice noodles. Do, you know, do you know where I could find any? And the other clerk said, oh, we've got, we've got two different versions. They had two different versions of beautiful rice noodles. One is forbidden rice black noodles. Vermicelli, yeah, it's um, specifically, it's the rice noodles, yep. And this is with forbidden rice, which is a black rice. Check this out. Isn't it gorgeous? And then this one is, um, it's brown rice and millet ramen. Ramen, just another name for rice noodles, basically. Forbidden rice. Rice noodles! I, I, I didn't expect to get rice noodles at all, and I found uh, the most gorgeous thing. So I'm gonna actually put them on the, um, the stove right now and heat them up. Well, actually, all it takes is just throwing them in hot boiling water. Isn't that the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? Now imagine, imagine like a dish with green onions and lettuce and like cabbage and carrots. So imagine a dish looking like that, making like a noodle, a noodle, um, a noodle salad, a noodle salad, which I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna do it right now. I will, Nicole. I'm gonna perfect the pho recipe and then I'm gonna share it with everybody. I'm just so excited. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because I was so excited. That's all I have to say. I've got nothing else. I'm gonna go make my dinner right now um, and make a delicious. Just a nice, simple salad, a noodle salad. I'm very excited. So, I'm gonna have some more peanuts. I've gotta pack all this up. I've gotta put it in their respective containers in my pantry, but I don't have time. I have to make dinner right now. I've got a hungry husband coming home, and he's got a hungry wife. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll stop eating in your ear. Um, thanks, everybody. I hope you have a good night. Go check out um, the new podcast episode on food waste. Zero. Uh, it's called Food Waste Part Two. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to hear from any of you until you go listen to that episode. Okay. All right. Thank you, Nicole. Talk to you, everybody later. For the animals, this is Colleen Padraigo. Thanks for watching.